Thanks for hanging out today on Inside South Florida. Being a caregiver is a huge responsibility that can bring with it mental and even financial stress. But how can you be proactive if you yourself become a caregiver? Watch. Studies show that more than three quarters of caregivers report a financial, social, mental, or professional setback. And furthermore, 64% of caregivers have never asked their employer whether special benefits or flexible options were even available. Senior Vice President of Life Event Planning at Fidelity Investment, Stacey Watson, is here with me today to discuss what studies reveal and what you can do about it. Stacey, welcome to Inside South Florida. Thanks for having me. Of course, glad to have you here. Let's talk about this study and what it revealed about the impact the events of the past year have had on caregivers. Well, caregiving has always required a big time commitment, but the past year has increased that dramatically. And just listen to a couple of these stats. Caregivers for adults spent nearly 30 hours a week and for children over 60 hours. Most people say it's something that they want to do despite the challenges. But the added hours and the pandemic overall just really amped up their stress. And as you said, the decision set them back on multiple fronts. So what are the challenges that caregiving has on one's career? And what are some suggestions to possibly improve that, to improve that situation for them? It can be really hard for people to find that balance. And so many people decide to take a career break. And yet, for those who do, over half said that they were away longer than they expected. And then when they returned to work, they took a 40% pay cut on average. Plus, there are all these hidden costs like a missed promotion or lost ability to contribute to retirement savings. But the good news is that many employers now offer caregiving benefits like greater flexibility or financial or emotional support Many people are afraid to ask, but those who do find that their employer may be willing to make some accommodations. And so the message is people have more options than they think. Right. The squeaky wheel gets the oil, Stacey, and I'm glad that there's some good news on that front. What can someone do if they are becoming a caregiver to better prepare themselves? Because, you know, planning is always the most powerful thing you can do, being proactive and also um how can they create a caregiving roadmap that can make a difference? You're absolutely right. Putting that plan in place can make a huge difference. And those who create that caregiving roadmap, they find the experience far less stressful. They feel better prepared to handle the unexpected. They also have a stronger support system in place and ultimately a more joyful experience. And I'd also say that Planning doesn't have to take a ton of time. There are lots of online resources. For example, at fidelity.com slash caregiving, we now have a calculator that helps people understand the financial impact of leaving the workforce so they can feel good about their decision. Well, uh, Stacey, very quickly, where can people go for more information on caregiving? You can find checklist tools and all kinds of resources at fidelity.com slash caregiving. Senior Vice President of Life Event Planning at Fidelity Investment, Stacey Watson. Thank you so much for sharing this information. Caregiving is a huge um, endeavor to take on. I'm glad we're able to give our viewers their roadmap and some suggestions for roadmap to make sure it's easy for everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.